Okay, kids, today I'm gonna tell you a story about something that, like the dinosaurs, has gone extinct. It's called film. Mom and dad, and maybe even your big sister, used to put it into cameras to take pictures, and those cameras couldn't make phone calls. How lame was that? Now, there's actually one man who single-handedly removed film from our vocabulary, and he replaced it with selfie. Here's Ali Ward. That camera inside your phone is pretty easy to use, isn't it? Point, shoot, presto photo. But it hasn't always been so simple. There was a time when you had to get to know the inside of your camera by loading film before you could take a photo. Then you had to have it developed and printed to see it. Have you ever wondered who is behind the technological advances that have made our photographic lives so easy? I traveled to Rochester, New York to meet a man who really is a legend in our time. I'm walking with the man who invented the digital camera. This is Steven Sasson, who more than 30 years ago was given an assignment from his employer, Kodak, and what he came up with changed the history of photography forever. Yep, it was Steven Sasson who invented this, the first digital camera, the harbinger of every single digital camera to follow. And he did it when he was 25 years old. 25 years old. We sat down to talk about his road to invention. What were the very first components of the first digital camera? The very first digital camera was cobbled together with parts that I found from around the laboratory. My vision was to have a camera with no moving parts at all. It might seem obvious to you now that that's the way to do it, but it wasn't obvious back then. And that first digital camera was about the size of a toaster, weighing 8.5 pounds. I'm gonna get you a shirt that just says, yo, I invented your camera, <laughs> so everyone knows. Next, we headed over to the nearby George Eastman House, a museum dedicated to photographic history, to see the first digital camera with our own eyes. Look at that! There it is, hello! Oh my gosh, what is it like to see this? Oh, it's really great. This is the first time it's actually on public display here at the George Eastman House. Okay, I'll pick it up and hold it like this, and I would frame the picture up, and then I would do the click, click, and then once I took the picture, the tape would be moving, and that's how I know I took my picture, okay? If the tape didn't move, I know something went wrong. So I would fold Not only did he show us the camera, but it opened top. it up to show its inner workings. This was the first memory card that's ever used in a digital camera was down here, and it's made up of those 12 memory chips that were hand-wired. Photography has been with us for well over 100 years, and it's an art form, and it's telling stories. That's still the same. Uh, it's just the tools have changed. I feel like we have to commemorate this with what else but a digital selfie. Oh, I absolutely. mean, come on. We I have, have to, to get do that. You ready? Okay. And it wouldn't be a digital selfie without a little bit of duck lips. Duck so, lips. a little. Okay, duck lips. Got it. <laughs> Amazing. 